So this will be me analyzing the critiques of capitalism, excluding third-way economics to some degree. Or, you know, fascism and distributism. I'm going to leave that for someone else. Because I know two people in particular that are long overdue to cover this subject. Anyway. One critique I have. Seen from multiple people. Socialists. Communists. Feudal monarchists. Is the fact that employment is really difficult. You have to depend upon an employer. You see, capitalism is the only economic system where a guy could turn you down for work. And I know that's me generalizing, but that's really mostly the case. For the socialist occupancy, they feel entitled to the work and moreover to the resources to the communists they believe that everybody should be working we should all be workers right now and to the feudal monarchists well how about you just give everybody their own plot of land that's something Grog has told me in the past in a feudal economic system you don't need an employer necessarily because you could just farm through your own plot of land whatever resources that you need to either keep for yourself or to sell. You weren't dependent too much on an employer. And that's a good thing because half of these guys are assholes. These are the assholes that hire pretty females to be cashiers especially exotic ones, even if they don't know English. These are ones that hire females where English isn't their first language, and their first language certainly isn't German, to answer your orders on the phone for pizza or something. These are those guys. Employers are assholes. They're doing it on purpose. Maybe they have a political reasoning behind their cause. I can certainly tell you a lot of stories. F no, fuck the video. I'm going to tell you a story right now. Fucking hair is wet as shit. I had a... I woke up late and I had to go to school. So I called up a cab. And... This guy, you know, the cab drivers in New York don't speak English. They're not even from here. They're illegal immigrants, and they get hooked up with a job. But this guy, I told him, I want to go to John F. Kennedy High School, which is located in the spot directly in between Manhattan and the Bronx. And he thought I was going to take him to John F. Kennedy Airport, which is in Queens or Brooklyn, I believe. And it's a long drive that would cost a lot of money. So he asked me for my phone number while we're driving. I knew he was going to the wrong spot. My gut was telling me, hey, this reminds me of the airport. The way we're going, we're going to the airport to go to Disney World. He called up my mom said, are you sure he has enough money for a plane ride? And Mom said, what? Uh, no, he's... Are you taking him to JFK Airport? That's exactly what he was doing. She got stressed out. Uh, and it was a whole mess. It was a quagmire. Another time, I went to a cab. Same situation. I always make it on time anyway especially freshman year. I was almost late, so I called up a cab. And when I got in the car, I said, all right, take me to JFK High School. I gave him the address, and he says, he tells me this. 
Okay, but how do I get there? And then I'm thinking, am I really supposed to tell this guy this shit? He tells me to call my mom. My mom hears this shit. She speaks to him. She yells at him. And then because she's a stupid female, and I tell her this all the time, she started yelling at me. David, you know how to get there. You know how to get there. Tell this guy. Tell him right now. I'm like, yo, don't fucking curse at me. <laughs> and, of course, I give him the most basic directions. The walking directions, basically. No highway, nothing to memorize. And he eventually takes me there, and I barely make it. This irritates me, and I'm really not looking at this guy too keenly because of it. But yeah. Now going back to the subject. Employers are assholes basically. That's the whole point. Another issue is the environmental problems of capitalism. And what the left this do is they take the environmental issues and throw in boogeymen, fake environmental issues, completely to disregarding like actual economic problems like peak oil or things like that. Instead we get global warming. We get the fact that resources like paper are being used too much, deforestation. Instead of advocating for something simple like hemp as a replacement to tree paper, since it makes more paper, and we can finally take the pot away from these assholes, the same way we t took away gold from the assholes, no, we get something different. We get global warming, we get the ozone issue, we get recycling. And as Grog has told me, recycling is more wasteful on resources than doing something like letting it sit in a junkyard and rot. It's actually more costly. And I think that makes a lot of sense. You got these companies nowadays that are actually engaging in destroying their environment to produce these environmentally friendly businesses. It's all a scam because people invest their money in it. And fuck people like Linkin Park for acting like saving the trees is going to stop World War Three. Kill yourself, Linkin Park. I used to love your band, but when you went from singing about daddy issues to saving the trees, that's what that's when you're the biggest goy of them all. And people on the right will sometimes disregard environmental issues because they sound baggy, but then you got the peak oil guys, you got the doom, doom, doom trotters. Uh, how do I call? Them? You got the deep ecologists. You got all these guys that are exploring the issue in a way that's much better. I mean, we'll have to downscale quite a bit especially when it comes to transporting food and all this other stuff we're not gonna have the same convenience I mean look at the drought in California we're not even getting avocado based foods because of that they're taking it out of places like Chipotle or Chipotle that's crazy 
Um, Subway avocado subs. You're not gonna get that shit. Uh, avocados are becoming a big deal because of that shit. I mean, Dominicans are pissed because we idolize the avocado. So this issue in California needs to be rectified, and it's telling you a lot of the stuff that does need to be looked on really doesn't need to be looked on yet. These doom, doom, doom trotters aren't thinking of it in the correct way. And those are sort of my generalized analyses of each and every perspective that critiques capitalism. I mean, the way trade is going The stuff in capitalism does need to be rectified for its environmental issues, but I don't think the employer issue can be rectified, aside from a nasty bureaucracy, which is just going to make things worse. Anyway, y'all can suck my dick, y'all can go to hell. I'm out this bitch. I gotta... I gotta eat, nigga. So, ciao.